Let's go, guys. It is time for game three of this week's 360 no scope IC file. Where players have to do six surrounds and uh, make their opponents want to end themselves. Up here in the top right, in the teal, representing HRZ, it is a Jozzle. I love a good a Jozzle. Is that a. <laughs> is that a. A BC and a planet? Oh my god. That's a. I, I love this. It just. It kind of is actually, like, well drawn, but at first glance, it kind of looks like just, like, some crayon scratchings. I like it. Shout out to Clan HRZ. What does it stand for? A Jozzle's in chat right now, so I'm assuming it's a Jozzle who sent this replay in. Down in the bottom left, also representing HRZ, it is Creed. But, or Cred A. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Creed because it sounds a lot more badass <laughs> than Cred A. <laughs> Cred I, my name's Cred A. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's... Um, yeah, HRZ. Oh my god, don't be American. It's Z, it's a Z. Guys, if you want proof that it's Z, just do the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, Z, T, U, V, W, <laughs> <It's> fucking... <laughs> I'm like... Why did I even put it there in this? I took it in the wrong spot of the song. I fucking backstabbed my own joke. Anyways, uh, Jozzle is going to be going for a, a cute little wall off here on the mineral line into a cyber core on the high ground. A very interesting wall off against a Zerg player. Creed's going to be just building a fuck ton of drones. A very creative play from the Zerg. Whee! I I wonder what we're going to see from both players. Hmm. If you want to get your replays in for next week, by the way, guys, the challenge is Surgical Warfare. And remember, even though we are pushing back the cast of the show one day each week, you will still get a new challenge on the same day. So every Monday morning, I'm still going to be putting up a new challenge for me, uh, which means you need to get your replays in the day earlier. Uh, what the fuck am I looking at, guys? Is that a Stargate and a Robo on one base? Creating a full wall with a single Zealot in front. Dude. Can you imagine if they're like, yeah, your job is to guard this door, and then they start nailing the door shut behind you? And you're like, wait, what? That's this zealot's job. <laughs> they're like, yeah, you're on guard duty. You'll be relieved in a few hours. And then they're like nailing the fucking door closed. And he's like, guys, like what? Can you at least give me like a sandwich or some water or something? If I'm going to be out here for a while? They're like, oh, nah, like, don't worry. We'll totally open it up later. He's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this guy's like, don't worry, I'm here for moral support, buddy. <laughs> um, this overlord, by the way, sees that it is Phoenix and a warp prison building right now. So, I mean, um, you know, I normally, I normally like to say there's a lot of creative strategies out there. It's hard to know how to respond to them. I think Creed's doing a good job of saying, well, you're going so much tech. It's going to take a little while to turn into anything scary. Let's just hold down the drone key. And if you then just, like, build a lot of things that fight, I don't think there should be any way you can lose. Now, we are seeing a Spore Crawler going down for Creed um, to defend a Phoenix. So I don't know if anyone saw my analysis of Serral versus Zest, um, but if you guys want to see how to shit the bed uh, really hard, go and watch that Serral versus Zest game on Zen, where I've never had harsher criticism of, of Serral in a game. Um... So basically the key point is if your opponent builds Phoenix, you don't need any anti-air until there's like four Phoenix hitting your base. So you can wait until the fourth Phoenix is popping at home and then drop your spores minutes later. For some reason, Creed is massing spore crawlers right now. Oh no. Oh my, four unupgraded zealots in a prism and there's no units to defend. No, why are we massing spores? Phoenix aren't even a threat. And look at this, picks up the queen, sets up the zealot surround. Oh my god, it's a 360 degree Chad surround. Oh my, okay, Jozzle just wins. You just win StarCraft. You just win Star, oh my, picking up the lower point zealots as well, like. Humiliation. This is, this is the, can you imagine having that done to you on ladder? You'd be like, what the fuck did, what did this guy just do? What is he doing to me? I was like, what's the point in even picking up the queen with two phoenix? They're not going to kill it. Oh, it's so he can set up a zealot surround around the queen and then kill it when it when he when he drops it on the ground. This is the fucking funniest thing ever. 
this is like that thing where like for some reason these the phoenix are like the older brothers and the zealots are like little brothers and they're like oh no 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 like we'll we'll hold down we'll hold down your bully so that you can fucking set it up yeah yeah they're like okay we, we, we'll hold them down we'll hold them down i mean in this case there's four phoenix with plus ones so they can wreck a, a queen anyway they're like you know, now you can spit on his face now you can spit on his fucking face you're like what the fuck am i looking at right now it's actually insane man behind this what's the follow-up it's plus one uh, and a second gateway because plus one attack on one base seems like an important thing to do right now um i mean creed is still ahead you've still got 38 workers mining and you're massing zerglings you can't possibly lose this game, right? You got three hatcheries, right? Like, I still don't know how you could lose this game. <laughs> you got, you, you, why would you get plus one attack on Phoenix on one base and plus one attack on ground on one base? <laughs> the worst follow-up you could have. <laughs> I love the build, but it's the worst follow-up you could fucking ever have. <laughs> it's like the whole point of upgrades is like the more economy and the more units you're building and the longer the game goes the better but if you're if you're one basing all game <laughs> are you really gonna get value out of those upgrades <laughs> oh, we're definitely getting value out of the, the the prism phoenix opening we are still one base first three with two of those bases fully mining minerals though so <laughs> can this actually win the game i mean you could tell this functions around a paradigm of breaking your opponent's fucking brain right the whole point here is, will the Zerg get so triggered that he just stops spending his money and does some really stupid shit in the near future? And I would say there's a, a decent probability of that, but for now it's just queens and lings being massed off a far superior economy. And I'm not sure how you're going to overwhelm that with Phoenix and a couple of Zealots with plus one attack. That Like, I, what's the... F Oh, okay, the Phoenix is going to go in here. The Zealots are going to come in, but I, th I think they're going to get overwhelmed. One, okay, the, oh my god, the plus one on those Phoenix is actually so good. They're picking up those high-energy queens. If they can take them out before the transfuses land, transfuse, transfuse, transfuse. No, the Zealots kill them. All high-energy queens just went down. I mean, that actually uh, lost a Phoenix or two. I think the Prism did go down, but did take out the high-energy queens. It's something. I don't know if these are good enough trades when you're this far behind on economy, but... Just mass queen, mass ling being built here. Uh, Creed, I'd love to see a spore crawler moving over here as well. Has three spores on that base, but is building new spore crawlers? Uh, <laughs> these queens just not standing next to spore crawlers. Creed's brain is breaking. He's like, I don't know what to do. This is so confusing. He's like, all right, I better go deny my exponents natural and third base. I clearly have superior ground units. He's going to get over there and go, wait, you don't have a third? The queens are still not standing next to spore crawlers. <laughs> Oh my god, a jozzle, just a clinical execution of sucking the opponent's brain out of their ears. Look at this attack from Creed. That was 30 Zerglings up a ramp to damage an immortal. Oh my god. I mean, Creed still wins this game. Oh, 25 drones against a one base player? No, <laughs> not like this. I mean, just massing queens, you could still beat this army, right? But it's going to be 1-1 one, one upgraded Zealot Immortal Sentry. I mean, look at this. These units are going to have to come out one at a time unless they kill one of their own buildings. There's 10 Phoenix, which is just going to be able to disable all the queens. You need to start massing spines and zerglings. Not spores. Why are we massing spores? Creed, no. <laughs> the Phoenix are not the problem here. You've got enough queens to deal to to deal with the phoenix at this point. Oh my god! No 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 no! Stop building drones! Start making units, dude. The prism's coming across. This army's still just chilling. It's like I need a fifth immortal on one base. A jozzle here is is fucking breaking my brain as well. Like honestly, this is actually insane. I feel like this is a Protoss player who's like, I like harassing, I like attacking, I like doing fancy strats, but I don't like having to defend. So I'm going to wall off one base and do the fanciest shit possible with harass, but oh my god, okay, the queens are winning this fight, the queens are winning this fight, the phoenix is getting obliterated, the phoenix is getting blasted right now, transfuses are landing, Creed striking back, the 10 phoenix decide to engage a spore crawler and 12 queens, maybe not their best decision of the day, and suddenly it looks like Creed is going to weather the storm, Keep start building 40 Zerglings at a time. I'd love to see like five more hatcheries go down for Creed and just keep building mass units at this point. Is this, oh, don't tell me you're going to ferry units out two or three at a time. Please just take a building out of your wall. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. Oh god, guys, you're about to fucking... Oh um, my... <laughs> Just like, I've died to Ling Run Wars before, it'll never happen again. It's actually doing this more efficiently than I expected. You can tell a Jozzle has done this a few dozen times. I'm telling you guys, the level of player we're looking at, no, no offense to these guys, normally players at this MMR would have taken six minutes to lift those units out of the base. But a Jozzle has clearly done this build dozens of times, maybe hundreds of times. Like, this is actually, this is actually <laughs> proof that a Jozzle has done the one base 10 minute six immortal one one zealot sentry all in many many times guess what guys there's no roaches there's no ravages how are you going to deal with the force fields well you're not you're gonna have to wait for them to run out 52 zerglings nine queens and about a billion drones i feel like the drones and the zerglings alone if they can get a good surround could potentially deal with this you got 1700 minerals in the bank creed get back up the ramp buddy oh my god i mean the spores i just gonna block your own units a little bit like you know, the Phoenix can't do anything, but more Zerglings, more Queens on the way. It's all about the Transfuse. Can we land Transfuse? One Queen goes down, no Transfuse. Three more Queens, die, no Transfuse. Fourth Queen is going to die, no Transfuse. The Zerglings are running around. They're not helping the Queens. Oh my god, she's like, what the fuck? They're like, our children are abandoning us? Oh my god. I mean, they're looking for a flank, but you can't flank while your army's in combat. <laughs> a little bit late. Oh my god. This is so fucking silly. Oh my god, if Creed was building anything but Zerglings, any other unit, Banelings, would have done it. Hydras, Roaches, Ravages. <laughs> but it just is just broken. The brain of Creed here is just like... Creed's like, I need 60 drone double upgrade Hydra, right? Is trying to now wall off with Evo Chambers to buy time. Unfortunately, the spine crawlers are on the wrong side. The drones are on the wrong side of the wall. It's trying to build a wall and hydras to hang on here. Now, remember, Creed is still at double the opponent's economy after losing all that shit. The unit's lost time, by the way, is disgusting. But hydras are now building up. They do not have range. So they actually shoot at, at only um, only five range. Whereas immortals have, have six range. Sentries have five, right? Yeah, yeah. So these Hydras, I mean, oh, they're getting trapped by the force fields. They can't shoot over those force fields. They're so short range. These Immortals have barriers, man. Spines do not do enough damage to deal with them. And already look at how quick these Evos go down to the Immortals. I mean, if the drones pull in front of the Hydras, the Hydras can win this fight. But the Hydras have to pull back. They've got to pull back. They can't. Oh, no, Creed. If you pulled your 30 drones in front, oh, then, then that would actually have been a potentially doable fight. But now you lose all your damage output. Oh my god. Oh my god, this pains me to watch. It, it's beautiful and it's so disgusting at the same time. I mean, I, honestly, I've got to give game of the week just for the Phoenix Zealot surrounds. Like, that is an amazing build order, guys. What the fuck? Like, let's go back to those Zealot Phoenix surrounds at the start because if no one clipped that, you guys suck. Um, please, guys, honestly, if you can't afford to support the stream monetarily, or if you can, just know that if you actually clip something unique and amazing so that I can then rewatch it over and over again and, and fap to it, I mean, I mean, to share it with people, that would, you know, that, 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 please, 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 um, do that in future. So we're going to rehash, guys. We've gone back in the replay of this replay. This was the 360 degree icy far surround, uh, challenge. And what we see here is two Phoenix and a Prism Zealot drop coming in off one base. Lifts the Queen. And look at that. Now, two Phoenix can't kill a Queen. But what they can do is put it in a Zealot cage. <laughs> Comes in, picks up the Queen, and then does that. That is actually insane. That is actually fucking insane. Shout out to a Jozzle there. Um, when I gave out the 360 degree no scope surround challenge, I was expecting people to just do big flanks, big like mass charge lot engages. I was not expecting someone to use four slow zealots, a prism and two phoenix to surround queens. That was friggin' beautiful. GG's mate.